Oh, that's a lot, of, a lot of stuff coming out. A lot of discharge from the... Oh, God, don't say that. Blanket discharge. <laughs> okay. Blanket discharge? <laughs> I don't know. Honey, no. Oh, do you see all that piss? <gasps> Throwing a Tide Pod in. It's done warm, cold, small. Wait, is it a small load though? Because the big blanket? No, oh, pretty much. It's fine. Yay! It's gonna smell like piss in like five minutes. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave. Here's this. Stacking cups. Can you dump that in there? And then throw that in your washing machine too. Alright, so step one is to clear the area. Step two is to get the laundry going. Step three is to change the litter change the litter boxes along with vacuuming the area if you have an extra set of hands. It's very helpful. Hubert's gonna need to be held. I'll do the litter boxes while you're vacuuming. So my big recommendation is to use big garbage, big trash bags, uh, especially if you have a large litter box like we do. If you have smaller ones, it doesn't matter the size then. Um, but if you use a big litter box, use a big trash bag, and then you can just dump it in like I just did. Uh, as far as usage goes and how many times before you throw it away, I would say two times tops is the most that you can do, like reasonably. Um, it does get very smelly uh, because uh, usually you don't change your litter boxes, especially if you have a big one like that. You don't change them every day. At least you shouldn't be, otherwise you're wasting a ton of your money and, and litter. Um, so you change them twice a week, maybe? Sort of as needed, and the smell accumulates. And when you open the bag to pour it in, when you reopen it after you kind of sealed it, you really smell it. So use it at your own discretion. You can do it one time, just throw it away. Um, or you can try and do it twice before throwing away the big bag. Okay, so with the litter boxes, just empty them, rinse them out with water. Um, be careful about what goes down your drain because it can be pretty clogging between the fur, the whatever litter you choose to use, remnants of that, and also poop. Um, but then what we do is we put water in, just a little, a splash of water, and then a splash of vinegar, and then I just wipe it around to kind of eliminate some of the odor. Um, and then we choose to do that for both litter boxes. There's only vinegar in here right now, so. Put a tad bit more water, and then we get to rinse it around. So honey, huh? why do we use vinegar? Uh, neutralizes odors. Otherwise we use Resolve. Yeah. Which is probably better than vinegar. Don't come over here, Kim. Be sure to clean off your surfaces as well because bunny hair and just dust tends to accumulate on those. Next, we're gonna be filling up the litter boxes, refilling them, reloading them with wooden wood stove pellets from Tractor Supply Co. And we're not sponsored, but these are great um, to help your bunnies go to the bathroom and have a better time doing it. So now they are cleaned out, replace the litter boxes. Huey's in the box enjoying himself, um, having some hay right there. He loves having a hay rack, and then make sure to empty your vacuum cleaner. The bunny hair gets really, really aggressive on vacuums, I'm just gonna say. So every session we empty out our vacuum cleaner, otherwise it has a hard time sucking stuff up um, at the full strength. So just be sure to be diligent on that. If you notice your vacuum using its, losing its effectiveness, then you'll, you'll know that it's about time. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, I hope you learned a thing or two. Basically just to recap, we cleared out the area, put the laundry in, did the changed out the, the litter boxes, um, vacuumed the area, put the laundry in the dryer. We've been able to streamline our cleaning process into a relatively simple um, system, but if you uh, have any tips or suggestions for us, whether that comes to the techniques we use or the process that we use or uh, any products that you guys might use that you find helpful, please let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, make sure to subscribe to our channel, turn on post notifications. We'll see you guys in the next video.